to like certain counter like a bane uh maybe even uh the Bloodseeker, so then you're kind of safe to just use the Rolling Thunder, you gotta protect yourself. And it's more about that damage reduction, especially since you max out the Shield Crash early on. And we've seen one Pango today already, and he also went for like a Blink into Yule Scepter to be able to set up his combo much better, and it's also a defensive tool, and into Heaven's Halberd to have another way of disarm. I, I don't think you can afford to get like Maelstrom. It, it, yeah, it's too greedy. That's, I hope he doesn't. Last ban, Wyvern. Yeah, and looks like both Phoenix and Wyvern kind of... Some yaps or heroes being removed. Of course, we saw Isis Ice play the Wyvern earlier, but I was not expecting uh, a repeat of that. So if they are expecting a position four to be picked up, that means that they are expecting Monkey King, Four Spirit, and Pangle to be the, uh, the three cores. And let's see, we're getting a PA. So uh, that was Kim. false. And it's going to be uh, one of these heroes. It's going to be the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> I think Void Spirit goes the way of Smail. Yeah. Puppy gets the Ancient Apparition. Okay. Isis Eyes gets the, gets the thing. I think Monkey King 4 then. That must be. Or they still Maybe. keeping things or open Spirit in, case, you yeah, know, sure. in case it's a melee safe laner for OG, then they could potentially put Monkey yeah. as an offlane, something that has been done in the previous seasons, but uh, I think straightforward, Pango, position 3, Phantom Assassin. They also wanted to have a hero that can get out of the arena. Phantom Assassin is that hero, and also it's a good matchup against TA, because TA will need, like, just heavily relies on dealing uh, mm. physical damage, so Blur gonna cause a lot of issues. Yeah, but if SD gets farmed and he gets the break with the Scepter, then life becomes incredibly hard for Nisha. And then, do you lose Blink Strike attack speed if you're demonic purged, or like, can can Blink Strike attack speed be dispelled off? That's a good question, Tsunami. I, I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Jenkins, hopefully he he's given me. Say I don't again, know. you can. What can you? Blink Strike's attack speed can that be purged off? Because if so, because right now it's Yaps or Monkey King. Shadow Demon doesn't care about having to demonic purge a four position Monkey King. So if you need to demonic purge someone make it so that Phantom Assassin gets no attack speed from her Blink Strike, if that works. And if not, then just farm up I think scepter. it works. Okay. I like the conviction. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a PA player, nor a Shadow Demon player. It's okay. It I know Jenkins is on it right now. He's trying to look it up. I'm right? You, it can, it can be, be dispelled, dispelled okay. so of course my intuition is absolutely on point, right? <laughs> then I'm not a fan of this PA. I'm not a fan right. of the secret draft yet again. It, it has its head on straight a little mm -hmm. bit better than it did in game one with the Pudge, but I see holes in it. Whereas yet again with OG, uh, they're ticking all the boxes. They have objective push, yep. they have team fight, they have late game. I'm going to go OG for this one. I'm going to go with uh, Team Secret once again, even though they don't have Pudge this time around. I feel like they fixed uh, a lot of the issues that they had in the game number one, and it's a pretty free Pango game, I would say, and the uh, looks good matchup for Phantom Assassin against Templar Assassin. The draft definitely looks a lot more normal. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Let's find out, though, if we're going to get a game three with this one, or if OG will take a 2-0 here against Team Secret. Finding out together with Jenkins and Moxie. Is normal going to be enough, though, to get this victory is the question, because it seems like there are good points coming out from both sides on that panel. What do you think, Jenkins? I mean, they definitely have a way better shot at it this time. I mean, that last draft was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I, think this is, I think this is a much better draft. You know, you've PA. Uh, sure, the, blink, the Phantom Strike can be dispelled, but you can play a lot around the daggers. You have a fairly strong lane. A uh, puppy started with a lightstone on ancient apparition. That's a cool build. It's not something that you typically see. No, but with PA, I mean, it does yeah. make sense. Get that extra minus armor for the stifling dagger. PA is building into a blightstone of her own eventually, though. Now, I will say, if you have not had the chance to see Amar play Mars, you're in for a treat, my friend. Because we've got a lot, you know, we've got a lot of comfort picks over here. So let's start over with Secret. You know, we've seen Puppy play plenty of the Ancient Apparition. Smail is an absolute god on this Void Spirit. Um, you got Nisha, who's you know no stranger to PA, and of course Ice, Ice, Ice on that Pangolier. A little bit different than what he normally plays with it because the builds have changed. Uh, but over here we have, you know, they talked about Taiga uh, being you know on this Dark Willow, being very, very popular, and of course you do have Amar on his signature Mars. Amar the Fighter, we'll go with this one. Yeah, he really is. I mean, in the last game, he wasn't doing that much fighting because 
Secret was just avoiding him. It's like, run away. Well, I mean, that's one thing that I, I have heard as a criticism, though, on him, is that when the Omar fights. has has arena up, at least in the the previous DPC, every he just runs at you because he's got arena up. And uh, a lot of the times, people will just dodge away from it because they know the second Omar shows up, he's going to want to fight. And they the scatter. It's a longer cooldown now, too, than it was before. 90-second right. cooldown used to be, like, super low, like eventually scaling to be like a 60 second cooldown. So you just constantly arena. People are playing a lot more around the spear now. So this is an interesting lane up here because traditionally Monkey King's quite the TA counter, at the very least in the middle lane. So putting Monkey as a four against TA, I think will make Ice Ice Ice's game a lot easier. I would imagine he's probably gonna go for a point in Jingu next on Yapsor. Just a pressure here. I'm just whacking away over here on Misha for the time being. A little bit of support trading. Yeah, no camps to work with because Puppy did body block that, so Yapsar doesn't really have anything else to do other than just mess with this pull a bit. He's finding ways to be annoying. Even grabbing himself a uh, a nice observer ward on his way through. Yeah, good read. I mean, sometimes you just get a feeling based on like how the support's pos positioning and moving around that like they have vision of you. It wasn't that obvious, but still he read that like Misha was playing a little bit too well up here around the vision. Good intuition. It's always uh, something that can't be taught. You just have to have that feeling. I mean, speaking of intuition, Sumail is, uh, you know, historically one of the best intuition players in the entire game, especially when it comes to laning, but he's... Uh, BZM's doing quite well here. It's easier with that flame guard being so buffed. It's been buffed many times in the past few patches. A little bit of that intuition like talking about, but... I feel like this is just uh, such a constant matchup that we see going on between the two Spirit Brothers. The old brothers. Yeah, that's a classic. I mean, I'm not really sure who wins this because I feel like it goes either way. It's not really snowball-y either. Like, both heroes tend to get something. I think it's going to be pretty quiet for now until they get some sort of runer opportunity or if somebody makes a rotation. But it's pretty hard to go and jump on these guys unless you punish them for being too aggressive, right? Just have too many ways of getting away. Pre, uh, or after. Six, rather. Oh, Should the body though. block. Very nice. Did manage to stun up the monkey. Ice, ice, ice. That's a decent amount of damage. It's going to turn around, poke away over on Yoragi. It does feel like these two teams really not super aggressive early on. They kind of take their time, find their tempo. They'll jump down over onto Misha. This is looking like our first blood. It's going to go over to Yapsor. Still putting a little bit of damage over onto Yoragi, but aren't going to overcommit for it. They could go for a dive, though, if they want. Hey, Yapsor almost has his Orb of Corrosion from that kill, so uh, it will be coming out. Actually, he has it now fully completed if uh, his courier, unfortunately, is like halfway to him, but he's sending it back so he can get that Orb of Corrosion. You can pressure so hard with Monkey King once you have that item. Two points in the Primal Spring, too. 40% move slow on top of that Orb of Corrosion. Like, he could go mid and get active. We are seeing the movement coming over to this area. Do you have a ward, though, in place? He makes his way over. He's just kind of securing the four minute rune because in a matchup like Ember Spirit versus Void Spirit, both of these heroes do so well with runes because you can shove out the lane even pre six. BZM still manages to go and grab up the water rune. He's gonna go for a little bit of a dodge here. Nice. And I'll put out some harass. See a rotation coming out here from Taiga. Makes his way over, but Samael being able to grab his own water rune. Pretty much a bit of a wash here. Doesn't surprise me that there's a lot of action mid. It's a void spear. Or a, it's a spear matchup. So you know both of these heroes want all of the runes secured, uh, especially the six minute rune. I think there's going to be like crazy action around that time, mid, and the side lanes are just going to be kind of you know chilling. That makes sense. They're pretty survivable. Misha again here getting pounced upon. Gaps are going in. Ice 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 still managing to grab that kill, and Yoragi just giving some of these clicks over to Ice Ice Ice. So be a little bit careful. A little bit of those, uh, the body blocks coming out, but yeah, it's absolutely fine. Ice 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 is building into a Meteor Hammer. This is cool. This is a trend that I've been seeing a decent amount in the offlane. People go for Meteor Hammer on Mars, on Pangolier, these, uh, 
tanky offlaners and kind of get away with it because it lets you build into the ring of health and it gives you some push. I think in this game, Secret has literally no push. So this is to make up for that. That is a bit of a problem. Still a little light on the lockdown as well over on the side of Secret. Yep, they want to chain stun with that roll. And mm -hmm. uh, when they have items on Void Spirit, that's definitely a lot of lockdown, but it costs something. Mm -hmm. A lot of heroes, like, you know, Lion, for example, doesn't... Well, it's not a there's, freebie. There's no cost to it. It's free, yeah. Yeah, it's not a freebie at all. They're going to yeah. have to work towards it. Usually with PA, you see a lot of, like, uh, amplification on the other heroes in terms of the... Picks, you know, like Invoker, Alacrity, Magnus, and Power. But yeah, in this some game, sort of steroid, right? Yeah, some steroid. But in this game, they're just they just think the PA is like really solid versus the this OG draft. Um, perhaps based on the timings, like once you get that Deso BKB, that like TA just like farms until that timing as well. So they're like, all right, well PA is going to beat that timing. He's getting a cheeky D ward. Yep, so it's just going to uh, harass right back again. It has to be careful, BCM's here, as is the mail. Let's get the go, Smail, collect himself a kill. Yaps are sitting very low though, BCM should be able to go and get himself a revenge kill. And like you said, around the six minute mark, we're gonna see some movement. Maybe not necessarily over vision, but there it is. Smail dragging back over onto BZM, but teleport comes out for Misha, he's got the bottle service. He's gonna be able to Bring BZM right back up again. <laughs> both they, they both get bottle service. They both service. get bottle service. I yeah. mean, yeah. <laughs> Classic spear matchup. Very good. I feel like your mid player would be very angry if you did not provide that service to them. Yeah, if the if the enemy guy gets it, it's like I want what he's having. <laughs> Pretty much. BZM's hunting over here. Not gonna be able to really follow up though. Yapser, of course, staying nearby, making sure that they don't make any moves over on Smail. A bottle from the void. So this is this is an interesting lane because I think at the six mark for Amar. Oh, nice little rotation here. Yeah, Misha. they want themselves a puppy, and it looks like they're gonna get it. First crown doesn't even need to proc. Top lane, rolling thunder coming in hot, jumping over onto this TA. She's underneath her tower, Yoragi, kind of dodging around a little bit. All right. Yeah. A little bit of a sidestep there. A little bit, and uh, they weren't able to to make too much out of it. it seems. Great for OG. I mean, that's the carry that's got two heroes pressuring her, and that's the just, Rolling Thunder. Yeah, too. Just doesn't care. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And uh, th this is why Ice is building into the Meteor Hammer because in a kind of passive game like this, where like sure you've team fight, you've kill threat, you need to actually threaten an objective off of that to get the enemies to like run in and fight you. Because you can see there with that dive, it's like. The reason that Yuragi is able to just chill under the tower like that is, and be super safe is because there's like there's no pressure really. It's like sure Monkey King can be annoying here, but without a rotation from Void Spirit, like there's not going to be any kill threat here. Mm -hmm. I do like how they're taking care of the jungle over on their triangle for OG. Uh, we can see, you know, yep, so trying to keep an eye out, see if there's any sort of stacks going on, but it's not in the Radiant Jungle. It's all in the triangle area, it seems. So that'll be very nice for Yaragi. Oh, check out the illusion stacking. Yeah. Are they taking From, care of their jungle? It's important. Spirit. It's very important, Poppy. Getting harassed a bit. Nisha is nearby, though, if they try to do anything too cheeky. And Taiga following up. Looks like Nisha's going to pay for this with his life. In fact, Poppy's going to be the one who gets the kill. But Rolling Thunder coming through. Slight as well. Amar getting taunted back. Rolling Thunder coming out. BZM getting holed up over on the side. Bro. Got that level six on Amar, but he hasn't opted for the arena. BZM needing to be careful. They are being able to lock him down sufficiently at this time. Taiga flying up over on the high area. BZM and a remnant out. Fall through again. Taiga going for a quick D ward here. It's just a heavy trade. Ooh, Smail sitting very low. They're gonna be able to grab him in time. Trying to dodge. See, I'm still following. It's a slow chase. He wants some. He's playing tag with his brother. Even using the big ball to chase after him. Tiger, though, is overstaying his welcome. He will be slain. 
They're still chasing, by the way. He's going for <laughs> Look at him. He's got the high five. The taunt dragging him forward. PZF says, come back, brother. Let me give you a high five. <laughs> And eventually he finds that was a long chase. Yeah, it's that was actually too. ridiculous. BZM though, <laughs> just kind of fighting against Nisha. Uh, Nisha, Nisha might... needs to be very careful. He's got the remnant up too, so he can just run away. They don't have any other lockdown. Nisha, BZM doesn't have a lot of mana left though. There's a lot of heroes chasing after him. He wants his kill, but he's not going to be able to get it. Ice, ice, ice. We'll finally punish him. That is an interesting camera position right at his mouse. Very good. Yeah, that was a that was a bit of a. Bit of a nice bait from Nisha there, just understanding that, you know, you're behind my tier two, seeing that he's really low mana on the Ember Spirit, that like if he's going to use a slight to try to get a kill there, then what that means is he can't remnant out, so just yeah, good good call to stand the ground there on Nisha. I feel like that if that's a pub, you've got people yelling, he shouldn't be allowed to do this. Somebody punish him, right? I mean that's probably <laughs> To, to, to a degree happening in comms. Right. Even in this game, it's like... Like, he was allowed to just chase after Samil forever. Yeah. He should not be allowed to do that and then just walk away. Yeah, Sumail's been having a bit of a rough one in, in both games. And uh, so he's trying to get back into the game by, by ganking, by being active. I mean, that's one of the nice things about playing the Spirits is that you do have that option of being very active early on and, uh, you know, punishing using that. Top tower, though, does fall on the side of the Dire, thanks to that Meteor Hammer picked up by uh, Ice Ice Ice. And Nisha has made his own rotation. Middle lane, putting some pressure over onto Smail again. There's Puppy nearby. To place, follow up here, holding Min. The Fear Spell coming out. Couple hits over on Smail. He's gonna have to go dodge away. Rolling Thunder coming in from Ice Ice Ice, but they just dip. That's Rolling Thunder being used again. And be able to go put a little stunning lock over onto Yuragi, but that's about it as they follow up. Misha ready with that disruption. That's the team zipping forward. They want to melt an ice cream cone, but the taunt coming in, followed up with the ice blast. BZM, he does take some damage. He's going to back away. Puppy will fall. Violated. And they take down the mid tower. Yeah, I think the most important part there is, is that mid tower. OG, oh, uh, we talked about Secret's ability to push in the game, the fact that Ice is building a Meteor Hammer to make up for the fact that they can't push, but OG, it's, it's the same thing. Like, their pushing is terrible as well. Like, their best pushing hero is their carry. It's a TA. And this hero is not even that good at pushing, at least at this point in the game. So the fact that they're able to take these two towers is extremely amazing for their game, especially because Mars, TA, and Ember can all flash farm, like, huge stacks. Mm. And they can consume massive amounts of the map because they can clear out creep waves as well. So getting that tower, very important for their game, but also not an easy thing to do with these heroes. Big item timing here coming out from Amar. He does have himself a Blink Dagger. He's now picked up level one of the arena. So I think we'll see him starting to get a bit more active. Yeah, so of course, scouting out the jungle, trying to get any information that he can. Size, size, size. He's gonna go for the uh, Rolling Thunder here, just trying to uh, get away, maybe harass a bit, but mostly to escape, it seems. Yeah, he keeps using have, uh, having to use the roll in ways that are not good for him. Like, he doesn't want to have to use it defensively there. He'd rather be, like, killing the TA, who is completely free-farming in this game with the roll. But, uh, alas, it's his only way to, to get out of a out of dodge. Alas, indeed. Yeah, Mars still has not used the arena. Oh, okay. Oh, no, he no. did. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, he just got that blink dagger. This is the reveal. The fear right into the wall. A little bit of the combo. Does manage to dodge a little bit of that damage, but Amar cleans up on Nisha. The assassin not ready for that battle. I like the blink dagger purchase. A lot of people on Mars go for the like, more, you know, collapsey build of the armlet BKB. You play as this like front lining, like tanking kind of more core hero, but... I like that that's an adjective now. Absolutely. <laughs> the collapse but, style. But in this game, to kill a Void Spirit... Ooh, smell? Apparently, you almost... Ooh, that was close. You can just right-click on a TA, but to kill a, a hero like Void Spirit or Pango or PA, it's like all of these heroes have some way of getting out of the arena, so you, so you need to jump them super quickly. In the Bedlam, root into place, follow up. It's a dead ice, ice, ice. They managed to grab themselves the apps are over here, too. I'm not sure if they're going to try to make some moves. Oh, yeah, of course they are. Mars here, BZM's here. The whole gang for the most part. And that's a kill for BZM. 
right in front of the Roche with a TA on your team, who oh, just does so. picked up the Deso. Mm -hmm. They're going for more, though. They are going for more. They'll find themselves a uh, another friend here. This is not looking good. Ice Blast comes in, just gonna sidestep away. BZM hot on the heels of Nisha. He wants this kill. And uh, they're gonna be able to fight it, Misha. In the final hit, Rolling Thunder, they are playing over at a bit of a choke point. Oh, that's a big melt strike coming out from Yoragi. They get the kill on Samail, and they're looking to get Ice 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 too, but they're all fighting in the middle of this Wukong's command. The Rolling Thunder again, though. Ice 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 hoping to get some more damage out. Goes, lands over on Misha, trying to protect him. We'll go try to use that uh, Meteor Hammer. They get the kill on Ice Ice Ice. They'll find a kill on Yapsor. Oh, gee, several of their heroes sitting very, very low, but they're allowed to walk away from this engagement, and they're going to head over to the Roche Pit, it looks like. This is a bigger stomp than last game, and Team Secret does not have the Pudge excuse this time. Like, this is just OG completely showing up and correcting anybody who thought that they would be questionable. Apparently, Yuragi's rank four on the European leaderboards, by the way. Nice. So, it's it's hard to find information on this guy online other than the fact that he's just some insanely good pub star. I mean, that's the story. Like Some of the most popular uh, and most successful stories of OG were just pub stars. Tops and Anna, you know, these guys, they just kind of showed up one day. They've got the formula. They yeah. really do. So, Yuragi, learn the name. Learn the name, because this kid's going to be big. God, I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> Some correct us. Oh, I'm sure. Or we'll get trolled like uh, Lacoste did the other day with Brahme. Smoke play coming out from Secret, though. They want to take control of their jungle. They are not happy about this, but... There's no one home right now. OG seems to know. Moving, the way that they were... Yeah, look at the way that they're moving. The way that they were like standing on the high ground there, it's like they they know. Okay, they'll find themselves uh, an Ember Spirit, but Amar's here. The taunt though, right over. Big Ice Blast coming in hot. Will go and land on several. Followed up with the Meteor Hammer. The Fear Spell comes out. Smell, he's not allowed to participate in this fight at all. Yapsor is going to be the next one to go down. Ice 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 just running away. Oh dear, that is not how Team Secret wanted that to go at all. So OG, they could possibly go Roche, but in both games, they were a little hesitant towards taking objectives, and it seemed like they would rather be around the objective and then force a fight outside of it. And so we'll see if they do that here. It looks like they're committing pretty fully here. I mean, they know that they have this opening, right? You don't have that rolling thunder over on the Pango. Even if it got here in time, you know, the most you could do is maybe a cheeky try to, you know, steal an Aegis, but... Sure, and then Ice Blast as well yeah, is on cooldown down. still because of this nerf to it. Like, if this was the previous Ancient Apparition pre-nerf, you would have... Well, oh, another uh, another find here for Omar, the fighter. You'd still be dead, but you would yes. have Ice Blast off cooldown. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. That's annoying. <laughs> That's so always annoying. so annoying. The amount of channel time, too. You're just like, oh, he, no. He put a lot of effort into that. <laughs> Yaps are continuing to try to just get as much information as possible for his team. One of the value points of Monkey in this uh, support position. But not much that he can do. Now, they would need to have him plus Void Spirit plus an Ice Blast. Yeah. To and I'm not even sure if that kills a TA with how farmed he is. He's got an Aghanim Scepter fully completed now. I think it's coming on the Courier. So he, he, oh no, it's almost, it's almost completed. There. So he's, he's going to have this crazy ability to just farm the entire map. Did Misha just stack the... <laughs> the enemy ancients? Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, sure, because they're... Because they're in control, of course. Controlling that area, yeah. It's like, I just, I heard that sound and I was like, oh man, that's... <laughs> I feel like that adds insult to injury sometimes when you see the enemy team that's it stacking does. your own ancients for themselves, to help themselves. Because it's just like maximally greedy, so knowing that the enemy team can do something yes. that's this greedy against you and get away with it is, it, it hurts. All right, we've got the psionic projection online here for Yaragi. Lots of neutral items being found in that camp as well. My path is to Mars got his full BKB as well. I don't think I've seen Sumail this poor in a long time. He, these games have both been really rough from him. So I, I see a lot of uh, a lot of people criticizing his like mid again, you know. 
not being the carry. Looking like a dead ice ice ice. That's a big old melt strike here coming out from Yoragi. Careful too. Uh, Yapsurf does show himself. Gets pinned over to the wall. And BZM swoops on in. Little, uh, a nice little tip from a, uh, a teammate there. BKB completed now for Amar. How'd he stop this guy? PA needs to be huge, but he just picked up his Battle Fury on uh, Nisha, so not not exactly there yet. Needs to get that three item timing of the Death Cell plus the BKB on top of the Battle Fury. God, there's so many things that he needs to get still. OG really just creating this tempo and forcing Secret to play along with it. And yeah, and the way that they do that is like with the Ember being able to globally clear all of these creep waves, TA as well with the Psionic project projection, so they can play like so many areas of the map and construct like this. Nice, 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 joining into the fight here. Smail also looks like he just wants to back off, not feeling super comfortable. We'll land that Meteor Hammer though over onto Misha. Perhaps he can find this kill. One more hit, yep. It's gonna be Smail who gets the last hit, and Ice 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 will pay for it though, with his life. As they'll find themselves a little bit more. The Hex over here. Nice kill from Smail. He is going to give it to place. Have to Astral step away. Yapsur, though, dropping the Wukong's command. Trying to slow them down. Trying to allow them to move away from danger. Yapsur, in just a really precautious situation, though, will end up falling. Cool play from Ice to start that off. The uh, Meteor Hammer with the Rolling Thunder. I don't think I've seen that one before. Uh, usually that Meteor Hammer on Pango is just a... Pressure towers because the hero's so good at fighting, so that was pretty funny. But it's it, it's all really riding on PA. Maybe if they hit some timing on Void Spirit with uh, Aghanim Scepter, they might have enough damage to kill a core on OG. But for now, it really doesn't seem like their heroes like press all of your nukes on Amar, like he's not gonna die. Press yes. all of your nukes on these other two cores, they're not gonna die. It's 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 hilarious to see this. Like BZM, despite having such a good game, has less net worth than Amar because he's just been so incredibly active that he's not farming. He, he's, he's only clearing waves if it's convenient for his team, and he's, he's getting kills. Uh, he's helping get kills. But he's not, he's not exactly like popping off in terms of net worth. He's kind of a support mid laner right now. I mean, these, even the supports are very difficult to kill. And we had that issue in the last game, right? We had very tanky supports coming out for the side of OG with the Nyx Assassin, with the Jakiro. But in this case, this time, you have a save over on your, uh, your Shadow Demon. You have, you know, the, the Shadow Realm for your Willow. Like, it's, it's hard. Yeah. They've made it so that they're very survivable. They're very hard to get your hands on. And you need very specific tools to be able to hold them into place. Granted, you know, you do have that option with uh, some of the kit that comes out from Void Spirit, but it just feels like Secret has a lot of pieces that need to fit exactly together to make things work. And again, they're gonna try to make something happen over on this Ember. Ice Blast will connect. It's just gonna zip away though. Got the Shadow Realm on the Willow. Just gonna move out and Yoragi's here. I believe that was a timeout, but the uh, do find some mail as they pin him over to the tree. Amar's still hunting, still blinking, looking for whatever he can find. And a gank just gone wrong for the side of Secret. Yeah, it's like this is probably going to be Nisha that needs to start getting involved in these ganks. I mean, obviously he can't do that right now because he's a PA with the Battle Fury. But it, it's getting to the point where you're not going to have damage without the PA. Oh, this is going to be a sacrifice to the God of War, I have a feeling. As uh, Okay, Amar just backing off for a moment. It's like, all right, Misha, get your, get your stuff down on him. Go blink forward. He's going to try to get the deny. I can't. A sacrifice. Now Mars building into a Satanic as well, so he's going for... Like, he started out being this kind of supporty offlaner who's going to be running around and starting those fights for his team, but now he's like, alright, we're popping off, we can farm oh, everything, God. literally farming Ice 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 in the top lane. <laughs> so literally. why not also be a carry? Build a Satanic. It feels a little like a pub when you say it like that, you know? Like, oh, my team's doing so well, I can also build. I think, I think that's what good offlaners do. It's... Oh, Yapsor. Ooh. Close. Very close. It just uh, singed the... Oh, he got him. He got uh, him at the trees. arena. They found him. Let's knock him down. Maybe try to shove him into the arena. Doesn't even need to. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, one of the more frustrating things playing against Mars as Monkey King is like, you're out of the arena, he pops it, and you're like, I'm fine. But then it, it destroys trees in like a much bigger circle yes. than the actual arena. Just because it, lo just cause it looks cool. <laughs> I'm sure that's why it was like first added like that. Yeah, look at this here. And then Amar just right on the cusp of it. Yeah, like, look how far that goes. 
That's a lot. That's actually a lot it's of It's way I bigger get. than you would yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, Nisha continues to farm as fast as possible here. Does have the BKB. It's a little bit more survival, but I'm, I'm concerned about the physical damage coming out from Yoragi. Like, look at this. Yeah, he's almost got the MKB. Problem with, like, TA versus PA is, sure, if they're on perfectly equal footing, probably a PA will, like, dumpster a TA because she can peel through the refractions. You get one crit. That's, like, enough to, like, one-shot a TA. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, like, PA does not farm anywhere near as quickly as a, as a, a T. Oh, there's so many A's. <laughs> Templar Assassin farms quickly. <laughs> There's a lot of assassins in this game. There's too fair. many assassins. To be fair, but uh, no, exactly. It's one of those things where, you know, TA has this built into her kit with the Psyblade Splash, uh, whereas a PA does need an item to unlock the full potential. So it is a bit difficult. And like, look at how fast they just, they back off immediately. Top lane. Ice, 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 he's uh, gonna just roll up here. Gonna try to put some damage out. Taiga using the Yules. Still not looking too, too healthy. Does fall here to Nisha. BKB does get popped. He's just going to teleport away. Oh, oh, oh the my dodge. god. Wait a minute. How close was that? He died in Fountain. He died in Fountain to Misha. <gasps> yeah. Look at That's... Misha's face. Look at that smile. <laughs> That's a shit eating grin right there. <laughs> he got solo kill XP for that during goal. Like, hell yeah. That's the dream as a support. Remember, he's the five, and he's, well, not that much more network than his four, but. It still feels as, good, as though. A five, as a five, that still feels good. As a five, it's to a kill the Phantom Assassin? Usually yeah. you're the one being hunted all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, you'll take it. You'll I'm take it. For we take sure. those. That's a W. Yeah. All right, more neutral items getting dropped. Let's see, any. What would you like to see for Secret right now? Because they do feel like they're backed up against the wall a little bit. By a mar, basically. <laughs> My God, I mean, that it's wall. tough. It is tough because I feel like the answer in a situation like this on old PA would be rapier. And then you just like, you get this power spike where no matter how far behind you are, you can still like one shot people and win the game. But rapier just isn't what it used to be. Cause okay. TA would just pick up a butterfly and it's solved. Can they lock down BC? He's got the BKB, he's just out. He is just out. I was referring more towards the neutral items. Oh, the neutral but, items. Well, that's okay. also a good fair point. Let me see. What what can we get for neutral items if we if we were Team Secret? I mean, there's not much that's like super game changing at this point, to be to be honest. Just wasn't sure if there was something you felt would particularly nah, nah, not with the, not with these heroes really. It's it's tough. This game just got so much harder for Nisha. We have an MKB completed now on Yoragi. Yep, and, and also the Enchanted Quiver, so that's a guaranteed hit on that one Oof. as well. So the the Meld Strike, 100% guaranteed to hit, which that's the that's big scary. hit. <laughs> that's the big That's hit. the big one. They find themselves a uh, Monkey King. Yeah, sir, just gets blown up. Godlike, Yoragi. And I feel like they're thinking about this Roche now. They've got a lot of traps. You know, I was saying how Rapier is this, like, big item that you can get that can swing the game. I do feel like Basher, to a degree, is that it's a lot smaller. Oh, that's a silence, and that's a that's very a dead Misha. Nice pick off here from Sumail, but his brother's here. Gonna use the Yule, throw him up in the air, but Yuragi also turning up. Do they have something to cancel? Yes, they do! That's another kill for the TA. That Meld Strike does a disgusting amount of damage right now with the Enchanted Quiver. Ooh, that's just a dead pup. Man, everywhere you look with this axe, Yoragi's just there. Amar getting into position, wants to just finish up over. Can they be? Oh, that's a triple kill now for Yoragi. He wants more. He wants ice, 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 big belt strike. Is he going to be able to get over there fast enough in time? No, he pops the BKB. Nisha, forced to flee. Radiance middle tower is Amar wants this, He's though. looking. Oh, he's he got a shadow it. blade. He's got a shadow blade. That's cool. I mean, it's, it's just for pickoffs, like... OG knows that they can consume this entire map, and all they have to do is like make sure if Secret gets out and they get into like a farming position, that they can kill them and stop that from happening. What do they give the Ag short? I, I probably probably Yuragi. I feel like he's doing a lot of work with the traps. May as well make him silence. Then he can have some kill threat on the uh, the three cores on Secret. Who because he doesn't have away. kill threat already. Well, as if he didn't have enough, but it's like. 
It makes it much scarier. It's very scary it's playing against a TA that can silence you. Well, especially like when you think about the, the the weaknesses of a Void Spirit or a, uh, a Pango. If they can't get their spells off, they're toast. Yep, sir. Is that the A toast? Maybe they can get a pick up, but they, they are they trapped in there with you, or are you trapped in there with them, sir? They get the kill. Ice Blast does take down Misha. BKB coming out from Amar Taiga, starting to roll up. Yoragi's here, though. For the Terror Eye spell, will land over onto Samael. It's a lot of damage. They'll take him out. And they'll turn their attention over to uh, this tower, which just so happens to have a Cardi Wave. So Extreme efficiency. Early game, there was not that great tower push from OG. Uh, at this point, a TA can easily take your towers, just mostly because of the range. Of course, the Deso helps out too, but there's a yeah, definite threat if you're a secret that like you can't just leave your high ground defenseless. Like Puppy is going to sit here defending it until he dies to Amar. Until he dies to Amar. Oh, uh, Nisha's here though. Oh no, the follow-up though from BZM. This could be the death of Amar. Amar the friendless says uh, he just gets left high and dry here. BZM saying, yeah, I think you're getting a little bit too uh, too excited here, my that, friend. But the bottle switched over to Yoragi. There's a double damage rune available. And if you thought Yoragi hurt already, this guy, I think he can one-shot them. One of them, at least. Yeah, he definitely can. He definitely can. I mean, that Melt Strike already does like 1,500 damage or something with the DD. It's it's even more. It's silly damage. That play from Amar, to be honest, when I hear like, oh, like 16-year-old kid playing Dota, I think of things like that. <laughs> Where he just does this crazy thing right in front of the base, like just so ballsy, and then and then dies. But uh, <laughs> just pinging the death. <laughs> he's, he's all chatting it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know you could all chat that. I think he probably copied it, and just pasted it. No, dude, it. he all chat. I think he, he like alt. He's alt clicking. Yeah, he's alt clicking it or something. Control. Oh, that's a, oh, they're going in. But Misha having the preparation here. BZM popping the BKB. Yoragi's here with the double damage. He's got so much abs, or he will fall. And the hunt is on. They want more. Can they get anyone? The puppy left behind will get held into place. Look at this long range damage. Has to use a ghost scepter to try to survive. Is he going to be able to do it? No, he's not. BZM says you're not getting out of here alive. Well, they only lose the supports on Secret, uh, but still, seeing a TA one-shot your Monkey King doesn't feel that great. He is a support. Yes. To be fair. True. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> There's yes, that DD. Look, look how terrifying. Oh. That is frightening. Disgusting amounts of damage. Now we talk about old rapier. Yeah. Feels like uh, the level here. Try on. Uh, Onyaps are hopping down. See ya. Slide away. Boop. Wasn't quite just the uh, one hit. But there is a huge fight going on in the base here. Yaps are hiding over on the tree line, just trying to push them back with the Gukongs as Taiga does fall. Yaps are also to fall as well. God, those disarm procs have to feel so good at this point. BZM does take a little bit of damage, but the follow-up is here. Nisha, though, popping the BKB. Nice disruption. Nisha trying to run away. Be a buyback by Nisha. He will fall. No buyback over on the Phantom Assassin. Smail's coming back in. Ice, ice, ice. Roll the ground. He looks like he's gliding on the screen. Bump the Meteor Hammer. Can they get Yoragi? Can they do enough damage? He'll pin over to the wall. Nisha's here, throwing out some of that damage. Yes, they'll take down Puppy. They have three heroes. Knocked down on the side of Secret. Do you have the Monkey King about to come back up again? But it feels very difficult for Secret to force him out of this base. Buy back now on the Ancient Apparition. They're smoked up looking for the angle. Can they find it? Yagi getting disarmed again. Boundless just clipping over on the side. Silence. All right, that's going to be the Aegis. Amar getting its position. Throwing out. Do they want to follow up? Do they commit for this, Yagi? Backing off a bit. They don't have Taiga. Taiga about to respawn. They keep pushing because uh, PA is dead. PA is still dead. I mean, there's a very big lack of damage for Secret if PA is dead. So this is not a bad push. I feel like you probably back off after this just because you have 6,000 unspent gold on your TA. Buy something with that. I mean, Daedalus, <laughs> Rapier. Treat yourself. Yeah, may as well. Yeah. He's bougie now. Yeah, you can... So he's, he's buying the eggs consumable, and then he's getting a Daedalus. Okay, and another double damage. Very and another DD. Yoragi prayed to R and Jesus this morning, or maybe Mr. Frog, I don't know. Lord Gaben. Lord Gaben, bless Gaben. Bless me today with double damage runes. Secret. Smoking. 
Hoping to gain some control again. You can see they've dropped a couple wards, trying to uh, get any sort of information. Trying to see maybe someone will get caught out. At this point, I feel like a pickoff is their best hope to try to vault themselves. Yeah, they're back they're into the game. their like dream pickoff here would be catch the TA when she's out pushing the map with her traps. Uh, and I think they can chain stun her and kill her with the PA damage and ancient apparition ice blast. But yeah, OGs. I mean, they sniffed this out entirely. They oh, see yes. the courier. Yes, they did. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oof. Well, there was a monkey there. Yeah. Get a couple courier kills. Monkey Consolation ball. prize. Yeah. Oh, Misha, though, spotting out. Ice, Ice, Ice rolling on through the fear, though. This is not looking good. That BKB not going to protect you, Smell. Too much damage. Yep, yep, just casually drops the bottles. I don't have time for this. I am I am a core player. I have 30,000 net worth. But I will take that bottle back should a double DM yes, appear again. Yes, of course. <laughs> for that juicy, juicy rune. That is the only circumstance. Full Daedalus if uh, Yuraki wants it. <sighs> Save and buyback, though. See, that is a discipline move right there. I would say, you know, I think... Young Dota player, I think. Oh, we're winning. I can buy this item. I don't need buyback. Yeah, these guys seem to have, like, the good aspects of the... Oh, Amar. Dota players. Pin over to the wall. Follow up. Yeah, they just obliterate Nisha down for 84 seconds. The Absor next. He's just blown up. They call GG. They've had enough from the wow. young guns here. Beautiful game from Yoragi. 20-0.